Hello, everyone. We're here today with uh, Dr. Ray Feng, who is the uh, President and CEO of New Pacific Metals. Uh, Ray, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, uh, Peter. My pleasure. So, uh, Ray, maybe you can give us an overview of uh, New Pacific, and then we can drill down a little bit and talk about some of the, the different projects and, uh, and some of the detail of the projects. Okay, uh, New Pacific is a company uh, a long history, and uh, as we see, it has a shell until uh, 2017. We, found, we come across a project in Bolivia. So at the time, uh, everybody say Bolivia is a tough place. And uh, so we tried to raise money. It did become a very tough place. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we raised the money, 40 million US, with uh, myself wow. and uh, Silver Core Hub. And then later on, we got Pan American Silver to finance us. Uh, for adventure in Bolivia, and luckily we made a huge discovery, mm. and uh, now we are on to a, a second, and third project as we have a lot of opportunity acquire new opportunity in Bolivia. Excellent. So you've got three projects going in Bolivia. Uh, your flagship is uh, Silver Sand, and uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what makes it, uh, I guess, a bit of an anomaly in terms of silver projects versus some of the other silver projects around the world. Uh, silver sand project, it's uh, something uh, very pure silver and occurring in a sandstone near surface. Mm. And uh, at the beginning, we, we saw the, the structure looks like a ver almost a vertical structure, mm. like a maybe high angle deep in. We saw the go may go deep. So we, we tried to follow the structure. Uh, it turned out to be actually the, the mineralization of silver actually controlled by a contact with a, a, a sandstone at top of silver uh, sandstone. Mm. And uh, when the fluid come in, they have no, uh, the, the sailstone serve as a lead. So the fluid will fly, flow on the sideline. Okay. And then in the end, they form kind of a sub-horizontal uh, deposit, which is uh, uh, very easy to be mined. Like uh, all the deposits go to deep, but this will go to sideways. So right. easy to be mined. And also easy to be uh, recovered, you can do a hip leach. So that certainly bodes well for the economics of the project eventually when it gets developed. So you've got a lot of silver, you've got high grade, uh, you've got um, easy access, and then potentially easy production and easy treatment and recovery. Yes, and uh, the, right now uh, we, we, uh, we are in the process of doing a PEA, and it's gonna be finished by the end of this year. And also on, on parallel, we're trying to do a PFS. Mm -hmm to take advantage of the Bolivia government, there's a 2021 to 2025 economic development plan. Oh. So they want to develop at least six uh, mines, and this uh, silver sand will be one of that uh, candidate for a uh, bigger de uh, development. Okay. So hopefully we get an acce uh, accelerated uh, uh, permitting process. Oh, that would be certainly very helpful. Um, maybe we can shift gears a little bit and talk about uh, Karangas, so that's, uh, the next project after Silver Sand. Uh, so uh, we, we had a we made a big discovery in in, silver, in Bolivia and this is Silver Sand and uh, and then we learned a lot of uh, geological knowledge about the country. So uh, one one good play good thing to uh, indicator of acquire new project would be a lot of historical diggings. Mm. So we have a we hire, I have a lot of Bolivia geologists look around in the country, identify the previous digging site without other people working ownership there. So Karangas, that's how we identified. There are a lot of uh, historic digging and uh, for silver, right on the surface, there's a lot of, uh, there's also silver smattering, ancient uh, like facilities, right. uh, but they're all banned and nobody working on that now. Mm -hmm. And uh, this project is so acquired almost for free. We staked the property. And uh, the project was drilled by uh, an American company called Vital Mountains in okay. 95, for, maybe for gold, so they hit some holes uh, at, a mount, uh, at a West Dome and uh, 100 meter, 100 plus gram silver, but then they give up. And uh, a famous uh, pro promoter in Vancouver, so Ross Beatty, he used to own this property. Right. Okay. And uh, so now it's our turn to try our luck. So we didn't drill, just drill where they drill. We went to a, a, a river valley where there's no digging. Mm. And we saw what's going on there. And then uh, we're so lucky we, we hit the silver at the beginning, and then with some deep hole, we found a substantial gold underneath. Wow, so if you're gonna find something else, gold is certainly a nice thing to find along with silver. Yes, and uh, the, uh, the silver will be uh, kind of, again, sub-horizontal, mm -hmm. like, uh, like a silver sand, like a near surface sub-horizontal zones. Uh, right underneath, there may be a feeder zones. Oh, wow. Which is a gold. Okay, so 
I mean, it might be still early, but ultimately when this is developed, do you think that the gold would be an underground type of project or would it potentially be part of a, of a larger pit? I, I think uh, the first uh, 40 to 200 meter of silver mineralization. So what you do, you can open pit and mine that silver mm -hmm. first. And then once you finish the silver, then you start to mine gold. Okay, and would you do that underground? Be, or? Uh, I think it'll be uh, partially, uh, mostly be open pitable. Oh, okay. But this is early, right? Sure. So, so we did a 35 hole last year. Right now we have uh, four rigs. Okay. We're doing 40,000 meter drilling wow. this year. So these are big projects that uh, are going to see a lot of uh, a lot of drilling, a lot of results, and uh, a lot of news flow. Yeah, and also uh, in terms of uh, regional like a uh, metallurgical metallurgical belt, uh, this project is very similar to uh, uh, Philo Mining's. Okay. So uh, Philo the Sale project. Mm -hmm. So at the time they were again silver flat silver zone at the top. They've been drilling there for ten years. Last year they started drilling at the depths. I hit this uh, gold and copper. Mm. It, it also in the feeder zone, like a uh, rhyolitic zone, and then the stock just took off, right? Exactly. From, you know, from dollar fifty to what twenty five bucks, twenty dollar. Wow. <laughs> so that, hopefully this is repeat our same kind of sure. discovery. Sure. And so uh, you have another a third project after Silver Sand and um, Karanga. So Silver Strike, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, again, this uh, the reason we acquired this Silver Strike is because of the. There's a lot of historical digging. So you go there, you go, the, the, the digging size is over like 1.5 to 1.5 kilometer. You said, must be a lot of silver there, because once you acid those are dumb, right. they have a silver grade. And uh, again, uh, this all uh, happened with a drill by Rio Tinto in 95, 1995. So they hate a silver, they hate a gold, but at that time, maybe they're looking for copper. So they, they walked away. Mm. And now it's our time, our turn to try our luck. So you, 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 geologically, you're very similar to uh, a silver sand. Looks like a silver sand and Karanga is put on the same location. Mm. Oh, really? So, but uh, it's early stage because uh, right now we have so many good projects. People may lost their focus. Sure. So we, we're going to do like six thousand meter drilling this year. That's still pretty good for uh, for your third in line project. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Um, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about the catalysts that people can look forward to um, for the rest of this year at least. Uh, I, I think uh, silver sand, right? We're doing. Uh, we just finished another twenty thousand meter drilling in May this year, and then we are working on a mineral resource update. So by September, mm -hmm. so which we, I think somehow we're. Uh, increase more uh, category of uh, major indicated category uh, resource, maybe slightly expansion, right? Mm. And also there's some satellite drilling, uh, so what's the surrounding silver sand, which hasn't been drilled before. Okay. And uh, the second the main catalyst is the Karangas that uh, uh, we are putting some deep hole. We hit some rhyolite, rhyolite, rhyolitic mm -hmm. bodies, which show uh, like a mineralization already, is right? With other sulfide. And uh, so, if this is indeed a big, with a more drill hole confirm a similar kind of a scenario as a fill out the cell, I think it's really uh, actually we are transferring our company from a silver company into a pure gold, uh, yeah. gold, gold play. <laughs> okay. So that's uh, very exciting. Sure. Any potential to maybe do something different? I mean, in terms of uh, how the assets are held, would you look at uh, if each, if, if, if you know, you have, let's say a couple of assets that are both quite substantial, would you consider maybe spinning one out, for example, or monetizing one in a certain way? Uh, like a silver sign, we want to, you know, like uh, we, we always uh, welcome the different way of uh, making money for shareholders. Sure. And uh, certainly we were trying to get a permit for silver sand. I think we will create more value for the shareholders. Sure. So at that stage, is if some guy want to say we want to buy this project, and uh, it's all the door is open, right? Right. It's all flexible, and uh, but uh, we're working on this thing. We're also looking for new opportunities such mm -hmm. as a team, like Bolivia is famous right. for team. Okay. But uh, where's the team? <laughs> right. And no, nobody has a drill hole for the last uh, thirty years. Wow. Uh, so we were also review a lot of historical drilling, and they're looking for again. Uh, uh, like uh, where people have a dark team before exactly for that kind of opportunity maybe to create once you acquire you can split into a new company right? absolutely so the, oh, it's always a flexible and open-minded okay well it sounds like investors have a lot to look forward to and uh, uh, probably some very good and very exciting news flow over the next uh, 10 to 12 months
I, I think so. It'll be a lot because we have so many drill rig working in there. Excellent. Well, thanks for this uh, overview, Ray, and uh, we will certainly keep following the story of uh, of uh, New Pacific. Okay. Thanks, Peter, for having me. My pleasure.